let's talk about a 1-6 scale figure recently that was released by 3-0. This is Agent Scully. Uh, this is a 1-6 scale collectible figure. It's a pretty, uh, it's a deluxe edition. Um, I do have the Fox Motor 3-0 I picked up months ago that wasn't deluxe edition, but there's a standard and deluxe. This is the uh, deluxe edition that has the the overcoat as the extra accessory with this figure. So it's a base off of X Files. If anybody doesn't know, it's a pretty popular series back in the 90s. Been catching up lately on uh, the Blu-ray set I just picked up. I also have the DVD that I've had back in the day. It's one of my favorite series. You can see here is the box. Nothing uh, special about it. Pretty plain compared to a lot of other manufacturers like Hot Toys. Pretty plain. It's pretty basic. It's got nice artwork on it. Nothing doesn't have no magnetics. Doesn't open up, show the window or anything like other manufacturers have. Overall, you can see 3-0 usually is like that with their boxes. But their figures are pretty nicely detailed, comparable to other 1-6 scale manufacturers. Yeah, let's let's get to opening this up and take a look at this um, Agent Scully, which is played by Jillian Anderson. Yeah, I was pretty pleased with the Agent uh, Fox Motor figure that they released. I also did a video on that. I'll put a link at the end of the video of that um, that figure. But um, looking at Agent Scully, I was really looking forward to getting this figure. And two items that they're included, which is not normal, I guess, that I normally don't see in 3.0 is their instruction manual, which is pretty simple here. You can kind of see they kind of show where they put the badge, take your feet off. And a really striking surprise with this warranty sheet. I've not, never um, seen a warranty sheet included with um, any of the figures, any of the 1.6 scale figures I've um, received. So this is the, this is the first. And there is the Deluxe Edition's um, overcoat that's included for the figure. And look at the accessories. It's got the flashlight, which is similar to Fox Motors. It's plastic. It's not metal, which you think would be in metal. But it's not a bad-looking representation of a flashlight. And you can see the 90s-style cell phone here, which is nicely detailed. Pretty much similar to the one that came with Fox Motor. And her badge, just a simple rubber piece you can fold doesn't stay folded but you can see um, that little gold emblem was kind of kind of disappointing it's not more detailed but the badge itself and all that is really nicely detailed and there's extra pegs in case you break it up here for the hands and, and a nice little extra clip they included that you can see here with the badge holder which they didn't include in Fox Motors and also her pencil skirt is also included which is a nice addition and take a look at looking at the the pleather looking gun holster which is included which is pretty pretty much the same, same one that they include with Fox Motors um, one six scale figure it actually um, pops open where you can put the gun in it which is a nice little touch and there is the similar gun that Fox Motor had and you can also see it can cox back and also another nice detail is that the magazine actually comes out which is really nice and it's also plastic, so not a metal gun, which is pretty neat. They would have made it all metal. And also includes what what one six scale figures do include are extra hands poses. So one for the holder flashlight, her mobile phone, the the, the her FBI badge. So a nice little mix there. And let's take a look at actual the actual figure here. Take off the remove the, the little plastic protectors for the feet and the and her head. And head sculpt so far. Looks pretty nice, and the arms bend not not freely. You can almost kind of tell these are almost like seamless arms. There's no, yeah, it looks like a seamless arm, so much uh, like the Fison figures, but it's not a Fison body. But definitely can see where they did that. And her shoes, nice little detailed. You can see her, her knees are articulated. They also bend. They have joints. There's a nice little ball joint for the, the ankles, her feet, pretty poseable too, as you can see there. And the shoes are one piece, so you, they're not, it's all one piece, it's the foot and the shoe is all one piece, as you can see there. And the likeness of um, Gillian Anderson's character, it's it's pretty nice. I mean, it's some people may differ on it, but I think it looks pretty good. And overall, like I said, the, the fit and finish of this, her suit and her pants are pretty nice. The buttons actually had, um, looks like that. There's a little liner in her coat, jacket. And one thing I noticed there, there's no belt, which is kind of interesting. It looks like it's a pretty big miss for his 3-0. They include that holster, but there's no belt or loops to put that holster in. So, which is kind of interesting that they 
they included that so I don't know why that was something they missed and didn't think about I mean again who's gonna put the gun underneath there the bulky under her soup jacket but either or I thought this is a detail that they they kind of missed on that which is kind of interesting they put that holster in there some people may want to put that in, her, in a belt loop but yeah the fit and finish of this her pantsuit is really nicely done tailored very well you can definitely see that she I don't know if you can put her in a full sit in position but it's pretty nice uh, pretty stiff with I guess the limited motion I guess with this this suit jacket but yeah that's about it's almost about to seem like as far as her her arms will go without forcing it any further But yeah, overall, not a bad looking figure. And there's her coat. That's the. So far, it looks pretty nice. I mean, just the, the tailoring on this, too, is about as, as well done as, as her suit, um, pants, and and um, coat that she's wearing, jacket she's wearing there. And you can see it's a nice little liner in it. Looks just like a little miniature overcoat. Nicely done. Close up look at Agent Scully's head sculpt. Not a bad looking head scope. I mean, it definitely there's a likeness there. I see it. It's you know, it's not 100% perfect, but for what it's for this scale and for what it's worth, I mean, you look at it. It's, it's I see Agent Scully in that in that head scope there. Some people may differ about that, but hey, I see a likeness there. And what they did for this miniature, it's pretty well done. And um, the paint apps are very clean. And their eyes, um, even the the paint in their eyes, you get the reflections looks good. The sculpt of the hair is really nicely done. And like I said, I'm surprised they didn't add a little more reddish to her hair color. Because, I mean, in there's earlier episodes, she had a lot of red hair. But, again, I guess they looked at the later episodes as she matured a little bit more. So, though she changed her hair during a, during a TV series. So, it may be um, just a catch, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that probably was her real hair. So, color. But, overall, like I said, I'm pretty pleased with it. Yeah, one interesting thing is a 3-0 does not include figure stands. I want to discuss the scale of this figure of Agent Dana Scully. She is pretty smaller compared to David Ducati, who's a little bit over 6 foot. And then what 3-0 did on this figure, the female 1-6 scale, does, she does look a lot smaller, the head sculpt and so forth, compares to other 1-6 scale female figures. And some even in my collection, she does look a little more, even with Princess Leia figure I have from Hot Toys, she does look more smaller. But I think in comparison with what 3-0 did with these two figures, with if you took a Fox Motor and her, I think they did a pretty decent job of showing that her scale being a much more smaller stature and size so i don't think they in my opinion i don't think they really did her way too small or her scalp her sculpt was really, really small it looks fine both of them look together it looks comfortable scale wise and stuff so that's my two cents on that and i can see here she's got the overcoat on and it looks like i said it's a fantastic figure for what it is i know sideshow years ago did a fox motor and some other characters even agent dana scully at one time i never never i think i wasn't even really collecting that at that time i totally missed those figures so far, like I said, this is the only good representation of um, really high scale, one six scale of these uh, Fox Motor and Dana Scully. Uh, kudos to 3-0 for putting out a different license, a disc license compared to, you know, some other manufacturers. So far, like I said, it's, 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 it's a great uh, figure and I'm pretty pleased with uh, this, this figure that 3-0 came out with, with uh, Agent Scully. And as always, do please share the video. Do like the video and leave a comment. And I do uh, videos like this, you know, from collectibles and you name it. So until next time, take care.